Hi, I'm Annika Johnson from Al Johnson's in Sister Bay. I hope you enjoy my new video series called Door County Girl. These are stories of my life, the people and places that I love, and of course, how we all survive here in Northern Wisconsin. You can come back as often as you like, but don't forget to subscribe to Al's YouTube channel. I'll be posting lots of really cool new videos. So let's go. Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Door County Girl. And again, we're gonna be doing another drink recipe. I like with these drink recipes. Rolf and hey. Kit. And uh, Kit's gonna take it away. What are we making, Kit? No, no intro. Just, just let's. Kit, you're on. Oh, yeah. yeah, because well, you know the, what? You're the, you are the intro. You <laughs> okay, gotta okay. tell us about this thing. So, so be wait, but just before we started this thing, Kit said, "Who has heard of a French 75?" Well, I've heard the term. I you're have not heard into my of one. story here. This is okay, but, my open up story. Uh, here. I, I, so go ahead with it because right. this is brand new to me. Yeah. I, okay. and I thought I was a so, drinker. Picture. <laughs> 11 years ago, I moved from Chicago back up to Door County to start working for Al Johnson. That should be a holiday. Yeah. It really, really should. It really it's should. May, it would be May 5th. We hit the jackpot. Yeah. May 5th. We can celebrate yet another thing in May. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we have the Food and Wine Festival in Ephraim. Yes. It's on the grounds at Wickman. Right. And This is 11 years ago. Yeah. Okay. And Mike Holmes. Oh, yeah. Is, working like crazy and I'm working the Al Johnson sort of booth we're just you know people are trying lingonberries and stuff like yeah. that yeah so and my wife comes back and she goes I've got a French 75 and I tried it and I'm like wow this is really 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 good and it was hard for me not when I ate at the Wickman house not to get a not to get a French 75 right. I think probably I, I bet you if you ask Mike now it would be the most popular drink ever. They had good bar yeah, they're, they're cocktails. The you could they, go in and no. say, I'll have the usual? No, no. I mean... For no. yourself. No, I always I always picked a different cocktail. Because oh. you would limit yourself at Wickman House by just going with the same cocktail right, over right. and over. I remember I had to go like, there when Zach used to bartend there because he was a heck of a bartender, yeah, he was, too. Yeah, he was a really good bartender. Wow, and entertaining, you yeah. know? For sure. Yeah. Yeah, that was always one of my favorite ones. I love sitting at the, I love sitting in the bar. I love watching them all make cocktails. Sorry, we're reminiscing oh, yeah, about yeah, something yeah, you yeah, can't yeah. even yeah. do anymore. Yeah, yeah. no, no. We just went not, down a rabbit hole. Yeah. But, <laughs> no, but yeah, so. so he, you're, 11 years ago, yeah. you're, you're enjoying yourself, I, the I French, French 75. 75. And then, so I went and we had dinner. I had another French 75. It was just as good as I remember it. Then you can maybe have two French 75s, and then that's it for the rest of the night. Otherwise, it's game on. It's all, yeah, it's yeah. Yeah. Night, it's, it's too, too or many. lights out. Yeah. Whoa. It's, yeah, it's, uh, you get. They're, they're strong drink. So it's I'm all, looking forward to this. All liquor drink. It's only two o'clock. Let's yeah. see where the day yeah. goes. Yeah, we're, we're going we're drastically downhill soon. So I'm going to make this in a double format. So I'm going to make enough for, for to pour two drinks out. Okay. Technically, you'd almost put it in a. I think a large white wine glass is good if you want to go really gracious. If you want to put it in a champagne flute, you'll get a lot less, and you can make a smaller cocktail. You just need to adjust it to your needs. Like any any cocktail, you really like. I'm just having one cocktail after work, or it's Friday. I'm just gonna have you know the big one because I don't have to work tomorrow. Um, you know, I love the Wickman House ones. They were always very gracious with their pours, so like that that was always a positive thing for me because I, I just I love the whole cocktail thing. I love food. I love all that. So we will start this out. So there's the French 75. Now there is another version of this cocktail called the Swedish 75. So if you look at our list, our ingredients out here, there's one typically Swedish ingredient. <laughs> well, what that would, would, that, be, what would, that, that be? would be this one right <laughs> there. Swedish lingonberries. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, you think about the lingonberries, it's, it's tart. And the great thing is it, the, all the recipes that I looked up that had this is like, just grab the jam and use that because you're going to be shaking it. You're going to be pouring out. It'll naturally strain out some of the larger, larger chunks. You know, our, our, our lingonberries have 52 berry concent, uh, percent berry concentration. So it's like, the highest on the market. Um, so like if you get some other brand, you'll, you won't get the big C, the big, you know, sort of berry part. But sure. With ours, I like, cause it's not super sweet. It's, I think it's a little more tart, a little less sweet than other, other lingonberries on the market. Yeah, so. I've had a bunch of them. I, I, I'm not trying yeah. to be a uh, favor ours over others, but I agree. I, I think ours, yeah, <laughs> but I, I think they're fantastic. So. Yeah. 
Okay, so I'm going to pour this a little bit heavier because we're splitting it into two drinks. Well, can I here. ask you one question? Yeah. What goes into the French 75 that we're replacing with the Swedish lingonberries? So, I think there's just a little bit more. Oh, no. Um, what is that? Jeez. It's elderflower, actually. Ah, okay. Yeah, it's the elderflower liqueur Saint Germain. Okay. So, it would go in there. It, it's sort of a syrupy liqueur that has a really great flavor that I think is great in a lot of cocktails. Really great with gin cocktails. It, it Everything sort of complements itself. We're using this great great gin out of Green Bay. It's a family-owned business there. So we're a family-owned business. We want to support Wisconsin and that kind of stuff too. So um, we're going to use this. Yeah, and you need to mention the name of their business. Yeah, Essen House, but it uh, is, uh, what is it? Uh, sorry, Paradise. Uh, Paradise North. Yeah, Paradise North in Green Bay. Yeah. Down by Bay Beach, right, yeah, you said? Yeah, right down there. Yeah. So yeah, they, you know, they just decided to like, we want to make some spirits and they, they make a whole bunch. You can go visit them. I'm sure it's a really fun thing. I would love to go visit them someday. We, <laughs> I think we should have a road trip. Yeah, a little road trip down here. This yeah. one I like too, because like, again, it's, it's, it's not a drier gin. It is a more citrus forward gin. You can, you can even smell, you know, you sort of oh, get yeah. the typical notes of juniper, but like you do get a little yeah. lemon on it on the top. Um, so we're going to go, I'm going to go two and a little bit more. I like the little bit more part. Excuse yeah. me, I just had a sneeze. Hey, you Maybe the it gin. was that it tickles gin. Your, it tickles your nose. Gin coming up my nose. Why I'm Woo. doing this. <laughs> can you uh, do some lemon juice yep, for me? Yep, I can so, do lemon. Yeah. I'll do it. Life gives Annika so, lemon. She's making lemonade. This is another thing too with this cocktail. I think some, like I love the acidity. I think maybe as I've gotten older, just my taste buds have sort of dulled. Like I, I actually search out a little more acidic things, a little more vinegar things. I, I like this cocktail too because it has a really great, um, you know, just tartness to it with the citrus in here with the, with the lemon juice. So, and then the only sugar you're really getting is this from this. It's going to be from the lingonberry. So yeah. it's not going to be super sweet. You're yeah. going to get a little oh, bit yeah, this of is sparkling. Sure. So I'll, I'll, I'll explain this when we get to that that part because that's you're not going to shake that up because if you shake up a, a yeah, sparkling, it's, it's going to foam over. Yeah. All right. So that's sort of the, the top on. Yeah, you're fine like that. Okay. So we're just going to pour out like two tablespoons here. We will have the recipe online, so if you want to. I just don't want to make it super lemon juice. And you can adjust. Try, you know, I always recommend try your cocktails. You ever see bar good bartenders actually will taste their cocktail and yeah, this is That's why I, I'm not a bartender because that would taste every cocktail I'd serve well, to somebody. I'm some like, guys oh. Do that too. <laughs> all right, so we got these beautiful lingonberries. See, look at all the berries on top. Yep. Right. Isn't That's like what berry I like the about first it. ingredient in that thing too? Yeah, I mean, and we, three ingredients. They're wild. And you know what I always used to think they did? Let's put a couple of berries on the top, and oh, then yeah. once you eat those, it's all like gel. But not these. Oh, it's yeah, berries all the way down. All the way to the bottom. It's always, always really good. So we're going to do two gracious little scoops of this. Berries to the bottom. Yeah. Put that right there. And we are going yep. to... Yeah, everybody will... Dinner. If you make this for your We're friends, good. everybody's going to think you guys are fancy. It is a fancy drink. It's a fancy drink. So we're going to shake this up really good. I, my other pet peeve with bartenders, like they pour something they're like import import that that that's really all for show you gotta put like some. you really want to get the ice in there you want to get everything mixed. incorporate everything you, you can together. see when the liquor's cloudy is when you shook, shook it enough if you didn't if everything's sort of clear still and not when when vodka gets cold like a good martini it's going to have like a little cloudy cloudiness to it gin's the same way any of those so you really want to give it a nice vicious uh so you're almost shaking. emulsifying it you want it to go sort of basically you know. yeah so if I was a bartender and I was really busy at the bar, I would grab that and give it to one of my customers and say, you need to shake this for a minute. Yeah, yeah. Well, I go do something I gotta, else. I make a couple other things <laughs> sort of here. part of the show. I yeah. would put everyone to work. And yeah, I'd be like, okay. okay, who's got that? I'll take that one. I'll be back for yours. Here's, here's the, there's two, there's like, there's all different types of bartenders how they shake. There's the really muscular guy. He's like, yeah. like that. And then there's like the, the hipster guy is going like this, like up here, doing that all over. And then there's the guy that's been bartending for a while, just yeah. shaking the normal hands. That'd be like the Clint Eastwood of bartenders. Yeah. Like, oh, okay, you kids. Okay. So Ooh, it looks delicious. Look at that. And I probably should have used more, actually, more gin in it. Shake it up maybe a little. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, there We're you go. We're making a little baby ones here. Well, no, you got plenty there now. 
You might need more than the other one. It was all stuck. Yeah, I think it was frozen and it stuck. So the shook it so all loud. the berries are blocking the oh. hole. <laughs> so who's ready to shoot this off at Bill? Yeah. All right. Oh, geez. Watch out, Bill. You better duck. You mean one eye, Bill? <laughs> well, he's got glasses on. It's like safety goggles over there. <laughs> Woo! So we're going to do that. Um, so we're using a Spanish Cava. It, like, Champagne is only for France. It's in the Champagne region. Cava is the sparkling wine that's found in Spain. Um, Prosecco is the sparkling white wine that's found in Italy. A variety yeah. of, of white wine that's in Italy. Um, so, you know, in California, they just call it sparkling white wine. Yeah, because they can't yeah. call it something else. So this is the topper, but it, there's a lot that goes into it. So if you imagine a nice white wine glass, this is a pretty big glass here. It's going to go up, and we're just foaming it up right here. So, again, an all liquor drink. It is a beautiful red hazy color. Again, if you use a strainer like on, on a cocktail shaker. I was going to say, yeah. same. <laughs> this is adult soft here. Yeah. So that when we're little kids, my mom takes home the strawberry juice from the restaurant, you know, and then we make. Four to one. We put water in one it and we make strawberry, strawberry juice. juice yeah. Four parts and water. I, when I do cocktails like this, I do really like dry, dry, uh, Champagne or, or cava or prosecco. When you get sweeter, I, I think it. it Ooh, you, you are just right. It's it strong. Through. Yeah, it's a. You know I mean, I'm a, I'm a I'm a wussy. I feel like I feel like when I was I, like I 14 shot. or 15, and we get to sneak a drink on the cruise ship yeah, or something like that. And then you like take that. a drink, and you're like. And I took that one. I was like, oh man, I'm not gonna be able to hide this. The Bahama bottle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm. I get some good chunks of blueberries too, or lingonberries. lingonberries. Yeah. So ideally, we that'd all be strained out of it here. So so good. It's very. It is tart. It is not sweet. I was gonna say it's not sweet at all. Like again, a really great. Summer. This is a good yes. summer drink on a hot day. Yeah. I mean, and if you wanted to be, uh, my you remember Aaron Erickson. Aaron put ice on everything. So like, if you wanted to milk your drink for a long time, it's a hot day. Throw some ice. You don't. You, and you could follow the original recipe and just add lingonberries and use the San Germain in there. You're going to lose the elderflower flavor, though, with the lingonberries. I think they'll sort of contrast that's, with each other. That's good. I, I, I wouldn't do change a thing. I'll give it back to you. And you can go lighter with any of these components. If there's something that you like better, if you want it more gin heavy, you can do that. It's really up to you and what you want to. Very good. Yeah, I feel like I'm slamming like four shots. That's I, what I feel like I'm doing. It's like I, I, last time when we had the other before, I, I'm, I'm like legs are getting kind of loose. So I'm like, yeah, and I and, I, nice. and I don't taste the booze, but I almost no. kind of feel the feel booze. Feel the booze. That, yeah, that's the other it's thing. It's like you know, it when, makes it get kind of warm and fuzzy. Yeah. yeah. There's something about wine cock, you know, where you have liquor and wine mixed together that you get that instant flush of your face. Yeah. You know, like that, that kind of feeling, or at least. It's good. I, I like it. I know it. I, exactly what you're describing is exactly what I feel. Okay, I'm I'm a big fan of this. Oh yeah, this is very good. Mm -hmm. You guys at uh, Paradise North have it going on, and I think we should do a little field trip. That'd be fun. Yeah, I get to taste the cocktail list there. We'll get the bank. We'll get the school bus out <laughs> and go down to the go Paradise. to Bay Beach. <laughs> yeah, get all, you can do take that. The, cocktails. Take after. the kids over to the Bay yeah. Beach first, and then yeah. Now, yeah. is this drink available at the board? No, it is not. Okay, so, let's yeah, get this, that clear. Yeah, I want to make sure they are. This, so this, 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 this is, is for really, fun Scandinavian We're promoting for, yeah. the Al Johnson lingonberries, yeah. uh, obviously. And, uh, yeah, we don't want to mislead somebody no. to say, hey, I want to have that drink that they They're have. They're not going to pull in a jar of lingonberries and do, and do what we just did. Right, but, 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 but at home. That's one more oh, reason to keep lingonberries on hand. Oh, yeah. And, and pick the right gin. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. lingonberries are like the universal berry. Yeah. So many uses. I'm, I'm drinking alcohol and I'm getting my antioxidants. <laughs> yes. You're doing a healthy drink. Yes. It's a healthy drink. Yeah. A healthy and gin, I mean, drink. gin with all its uh, herbaceous components. Oh, it yeah. Has, uh, it's really good for I'm going to gonna reverse everything. Yeah. Well, that was excellent, Kit. Yeah, I'm glad yeah. you enjoyed it. It was something fun that I saw and that I, I, I'm like, that I wanted to try it. And my wife and I tried it and it was really good. Um, yeah, just a, a great cocktail. It's a great twist on like a really classic cocktail, the French 75. Good call. Yeah. These guys should they should they should put a little recipe card right here and, 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 and I'll, introduce yeah. it to others. I'll throw this out there. Thank you, Mike Holmes, for making so many awesome yes. cocktails. Yes. And like you're changing my whole perspective on that because I, I was so food focused. You never really think about like all the other components. The now talent I, that they now I just need some unbelievable pastry chef to roll in up here and then we'll really go. <laughs> uh. Yes. 
Okay. All right, well, that brings us to the end of Door County Girl. Yeah. And uh, don't forget to like and, and subscribe. We may have some more tasty cocktails coming into the warm I Yeah, I, I love this stuff. Yeah. I love this stuff. More of this kit. More yeah, this we'll do stuff. more cocktail. Yeah. Patty, patio slammers. Yeah. Yes, patio slammers. No, you don't I want like, to do that. Ooh, with I that. like that. Yeah. Patio slammers. All right. Well, there's even a better one. Patio pounders. Yeah. <laughs> you two are going to be toasted. All right. Skull. Taxamica. Taxamica. Hey, hey. hey. Thanks for watching Door County Girl. Don't forget to subscribe, and we will see you next time.